Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Um, today we're going to be unboxing the Rock Lam Ang Pro. So if you may have uh, seen my other videos, it was about the Hilux Conquest. And yeah, that was, that was about a year ago. So I haven't been able to make some videos about that one anymore. So yeah, thank you to my subscribers as well. And the ones who messaged me um, uh, asking uh, stuff about the Hilux. So yeah, for now, we are away from the Hilux. I am actually in Makati. I got accepted um, with my job interviews. Well, uh, enough of that. <laughs> we'll go straight into the unboxing. And yes, uh, just to let you know, this is my very first uh, mechanical keyboard. We'll just uh, do an unboxing, uh, basically uh, not really much of a review. And you may have seen right there in the corner, I have one other one so I may have unboxed so the previous video was uh, like uh, cancelled it was very um, very noisy and there is one of our national ice cream man vendors <laughs> sorry for the noise guys I'm just here outside in my dorm which has kept me safe during the quarantine <laughs> all right so I had to do another one though I bought two uh, that was for me this one is for my brother um, I'm just going to test it out before sending it to him. So yeah, let's do this thing. Um, Rock Lam Ang Pro. So it has 16 million colors. True RGB. So every key, every switch has its own uh, LED that would change. All right. So that is true RGB and not rainbow, just like the other keyboards. And this one has also a USB pass through, Bluetooth um, connectivity compatible with Windows and Apple and 2000 milliamp hour battery and um, their website uh, claims it would last about 48 hours uh, I don't know if you can see that one 48 hour battery better life right okay all right so let's get right into it also let me check the back here the box is really good it's well um, well packaged here and all the information you need. It comes in three um, three types. So I got here the Pro Kale White version. We also have the Pro Kale uh, Speed Bronze and the Bare Bone. The Pro Bare Bone, wherein you would buy your own switches and keycaps, and it would only uh, come with one top cover. All right. So those are the features. It comes with three top covers: one in one pre-installed, and two other ones that come with. All right. So let's open this box up. I know, I know, I don't have a tripod. I'm doing this one-handed, but <laughs> I'll get one soon. Soon. We also have one package here. We'll be unboxing that one as well. Uh, that will be an, another video. <laughs> All right. So first thing you would see would be the keycaps. The keycaps. So they are separate here. Mm -hmm. So that you would, uh, you would have the option to install your key your own keycaps. Um, once you bought the keyboard if you have the keycaps already so let's put that aside and here are the other top covers we have here the white the white and we have here the black all right and here is the keyboard itself let me take this out of the box real quick okay and put that one aside for now and what else? You see here the uh, instruction booklet, um, all of the information that you need uh, for the function keys. Mm -hmm. yeah, everything right there. And in this tab, uh, you see the braided, braided USB-C. That is uh, gold-plated. It's very nice touch. It's very high quality with the rock. Uh, all right. And you also have the keycap puller, keycap remover, and the switch remover as well, the metal one, to remove your switches uh, fairly easy. And yep, that's all inside the box. So let's go with, go, take the keyboard, all right. All right, so this is the keyboard itself. Let me take off the wrap. Again, this is the Kale White uh, version. I believe um, these are 
um, what do you call that? It, it has an IP rating, but um, I'll be double checking that one as well. If it has, it does have IP rating. Okay. And let's check the light, Bluetooth. All right, so each individual switch has uh, their own key, uh, or I mean LED that changes light. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So um, looking at the keyboard, at the bottom part, there's nothing here. On the left, nothing as well. The right, and on the top, it's where you would see your um, USB-C connector uh, to connect your um, yeah USB to your computer and your USB pass-through, which has its own LED as well. So that's a very nice touch. Um, yeah, you can plug in your mouse or any other um, uh, like flash drives, any other device. Uh, obviously, if you use the Bluetooth function, that wouldn't work. So yeah, and at behind, let's place this one really slowly. So you have here rubber feet, rubber feet. It's a very nice uh, high quality rubber right there. It's thick and you also have rubber um, razor. You could raise your laptop to a certain degree and this is rubberized as well. And you all, you have here the switch, the Bluetooth switch. And yeah, that's basically it for the outside. Let's go ahead and install the keycaps. Alright guys, so there it's all done. I have uh, installed all the keycaps and I've had some trouble with uh, the shift as, uh, as well as the uh, space bar installing for they are uh, quite long. They actually have three um, connectors inside, the switch itself and two stabilizers. And also I haven't noticed any um, stabilizer bars uh, for the keyboard, or I mean the space bar. So yes, I have mentioned this is my first mechanical, so I know nothing about mechanical keyboards um, just yet. <laughs> so yeah, and let's check here the lightings with the keycaps. And these are, um, as I have um, uh, searched, these are uh, double shot keycaps. Um, yes, it actually illuminates very uh, well, though um, it is uh, like, not that bright during the daytime, but at night, wow, so gorgeous. All right, so let's uh, run through the basics. Um, this is the volume wheel, which I very uh, much like. It also controls the brightness as well, if this is illuminated. So we turn that off to control the volume. And this one would lock in the Windows key when you're gaming. Well, you can also do that with FN and the Windows key itself to turn off. This might as well be um, the, a mute button, you know, just undergo mute. Well, not complaining. It's a very good uh, keyboard. It's built quite well, very well. It has a some weight to it. So it feels really premium. It doesn't feel cheap, though it's not that cheap. It is actually 3200 I got this one from Easy Peasy uh, PH. Uh, um, thank you so much for uh, Easy PC for uh, shipping this out. Though I got this with my own money, it's not sponsored in any way. <laughs> well, maybe soon. <laughs> well, all right. Well, let's try to uh, do a sound test.
All right, so that is a quick sound test, and you can um, uh, connect this uh, device, this keyboard, to three devices at um, at the same time. You just need to switch um, FN, Q, F N W and E um, for each corresponding device, you know? So that is a very great feature for productivity. You can switch to one device to another in the press of a button and not using the on-screen keyboard of others, you know? So yeah, that's a very nice feature to have. And also you can switch the key, the lighting effects. So F N up would change the brightness, F N down. I'm sorry, there, so you need to, okay, so you need to enable that one first. So I just found this one right now, all right. <laughs> okay, and I believe the right would change the speed and colors and the direction as well. Okay, so FN, uh, insert, let's try all the modes. Radioactive or reactive? Radioactive, what? <laughs> um, yep, opposite re reactive. But this one is my favorite, the wave. Breathing. Light cycle or color cycle, I mean. This way just like going out. Alright, so that is all of the light um, modes of the keyboard. And it does have a uh, software. It does have a software and... Um, for Well, as I have checked the website, let us check it here real quick. For the Rock website, the drivers and softwares, I believe they need to update this one. Keyboard driver, click on that. Yep, so it goes to an error. So I believe they're still working on it. They may be updating the software as well as we speak and we'll get better uh, functions on that one so I'm not able to test yet since I don't have the software so yep I believe that is all for this video I'll be showing you how to connect this um, to Bluetooth as well okay so let's uh, connect this keyboard through Bluetooth um, so to enable that uh, it comes into wired mode directly out of the box so we need to set this one up first, uh, press FN, and then the tab for you to enter wireless mode. Let me see if I can reach FN, then tab. All right, so it's in wireless mode. And then for pairing, FNP. It should blink really fast. Yes, the P is blinking fast. And we'll add this one onto the computer. Add Bluetooth. I have one here that is for my own, my other one. Bluetooth, add a device, and yes, keyboard, it's now connecting, okay, okay, so I believe that is all for this video, um, well, it's pretty straightforward for the, for the cable connections, and yes, there is the light that I mentioned earlier. 
All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Just connect that one. And also, I have used, um, for my other keyboard, I have used my other USB Type-C, so there's no problem in using another cable uh, for this one. If you are concerned about using another one, or if the, the original one breaks uh, over time, yeah, you can definitely use other cable. I mean cords, cables. Cords, yes. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching the video. Um, uh, like it if you if you <laughs> like the video if you liked it like my review um yeah thank you so much once again to my uh, subscribers you have been uh, very um very nice and well i have also heard other uh, negative comments um well that would make me a better person so thank you so much for uh, watching this video uh, god bless you always stay safe with this pandemic during this pandemic and always wear your mask <laughs> all right goodbye I was angry before, but I circled the dream.